There's a way to chain the microtip vulnerabilities to gain backdoor access. So Ganesh, you've got another vulnerability with the Microtik router. Seems like a, a common vulnerable router for us. What, what's the, the new stuff here? Yeah, this time we have four vulnerabilities, of which basically they have a chain of actions an attacker can take uh, to get uh, leveraging these uh, four vulnerabilities to get the basically backdoor to the system. Um, this has been found by Tenable researchers. Uh, first, basically I listed the four CVEs here. Mm -hmm. uh, the first two, 3976, they found in the first, first week of uh, September, and they informed the Microtech. I think uh, within a few weeks they released a patch. Okay. Afterwards, uh, they were looking into this Microtech vulnerabilities again. They found two additional things. So. This story is about uh, including the new latest two CVEs and how it can be leveraged to basically take control of the Microtech router. Okay. The way this works is um, an attacker can basically um, get access to the router, uh, to the router voice port, which is 8291 TCP port. From that, they, have, uh, they can actually downgrade the firmware level of the router voice which gives them access to the system because at some certain levels, I think uh, Microtech routers has a default password or sometimes no password at all. So they can get the access. You see the, the vendor make the effort to do the patch uh, and then there's another vulnerability that basically allows an adversary to sort of roll back the OS version. Uh, how, how is this done? Basically the first thing is uh, they're doing it using a DNS cache poisoning. Okay. Because um, Microtech router is a DNS based one, right? They have router voice, they have resolver, which have uh, local caches. Okay. Somehow they are able to corrupt that to resolver to, you know, point to a, a domain or IP address, which is in control of the attacker. And once they got the access to the system, they kind of downgraded the patch level, system levels. So this is how it's done by means of the Winbox protocol. Uh, but luckily, two days ago, Microtech patched with the version 6.45.7. Actually, it addresses all the four vulnerabilities. Okay, so this is the patch, 6.45.7 is the patch for these vulnerabilities, not the patch level that they went be, uh, before, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think if anybody is running the Microtech devices, this is the patch that they have to be. Okay, good. I just listed, I think uh, Microtech routers, they use various ports and protocols. Uh -huh. Besides uh, port 8291, which is used by a Winbox protocol. Okay. But, uh, 50 but is 8291 the, the one where we see yeah. scanning for these vulnerabilities? Yeah, I think uh, that's yeah. where they're leveraging the basically to get the access to the system and downgrade. You know, okay. That's how they are doing it. Uh, but 50 ports, you know, uh, any web server, any router have various ports, like TenLed, SSH. Right, if right. you include all of them, they use various uh, 50 ports and protocols. Got it. I just listed it there. Uh, because I found another port related to Microtech, which has a similar scanning activity around the same time, and which we observed in the last time I was analyzing it. I just want to refer to that one. So this is 500 days of Microtech, and all these different vulnerabilities over time show our uh, probably, I, probably we've had a threat track story. I, I think uh, mo most probably, you, you're right, Joe. Pro most probably we have some sort of threat track story whenever we have that big spikes. Yeah, and I know this has put 8291 in our top 10 list in the past. I don't know if it's still there. Uh, but uh, yeah, we've definitely heard and dealt with the Microtik router uh -huh. vulnerabilities for a while now. Yeah, uh, for example, I think around uh, September times, August time frame actually, uh, I think uh, they found vulnerabilities, the scanning was there, and uh -huh. they, they put a patch down and we can see the tap ring of the scanning. And again, I think around the same time, they, f they, they found another two vulnerabilities and probably others also. Again, we're seeing the continuous level of scanning activity. And then we, do we expect this to taper off now that uh, the patch is released? I'm, I'm, I'm expecting to taper off like we have seen in the early September once the patches are released. Okay. Um, but I think uh, right now people are looking for vulnerable devices, especially open for a uh, Microtik with the 829. Yeah. 
basically I'm showing the past seven days how oh. this is looking at mm. uh, like you can see the scanning is uh, almost you know like going in spikes and coming down it's like a diurnal pattern mm -hmm. like probably because of the way some of these scripts are running where they yeah yeah here is the uh, some of the scanners uh, scan sips we are seeing on our reports so basically, if you see, it's geographically distributed, but I think most likely concentrated highly in uh, Asia Pac. Mm -hmm. In this case, I've seen top scanners from uh, Hong Kong-based IPs you know, from that reason. Okay. I, I told you there's another port I kind of found out to see showing the same type of behavior. Like if in this case, 8728, which is in blue color here, is also one of the port used by Microtech. Yeah, okay. It's not for uh, Winbox protocol, ah. uh, but for it's used for some, uh, some sort of API access. So as you can see, we are seeing the same set of scanning at the same time. I mean, except for, you know, if you go back uh, past uh, June of yeah. this year. But at the same time, you, you are seeing the same set of uh, scanning. I think if anybody's seeing scanning on these two ports at the same time, it, it's 100% sure they're looking for mic microtech devices. Yeah. Uh, Jaime, what do you think? Do you think um, you know you work with customers and consumers a lot? What's your take on this situation? Yeah, it, it is important to address obviously all all the patches that that vendors issue. But you know, in 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 some cases, some instances, if those patches are not available, uh, you know, either you stay away from those routers, or uh, you know, you put you you close those those ports, or you put that router behind a firewall or something that can prevent the, so you the sort of, activity. So you're, you're saying maybe add your own layer of protection because you know this router is so susceptible. That's a good idea. The key point is keep updating it and up to levels so that uh, lots of the attack vectors can be closed.